Hey, good day there, uh, YouTube subscribers. Today is a kind of a different video than when I normally would uh, put out the radios and amps and stuff like that. But uh, today we're going to make an antenna switch box. And most know that most of the switch boxes out there, you can get the 2,000 watt ones, you can get the 5,000 watt ones, but they're really rated for peak watts. Um, so if you need something that's going to be uh, a little bit higher rating, um, and you have multiple antenna setups, kind of like what I do, I have an Omni and a in a beam um, you want to uh, make something a little heavier uh, this is basically only going to be able to switch over to two but you can multiply this times as many as you want so what I got here is a vacuum relay which is uh, rated for 16,000 RMS and 40,000 peak now I'm not saying that I'm going to be doing that through it but at least I won't never have to worry about a switch box burning up on me and um, at this point, I'm just going to use uh, some Teflon coax connectors. I was going to direct connect it all, but uh, I got to thinking about it. And for what I'm going to be pushing, these are usually good for up to about 10,000 watts. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and use the Teflon uh, connectors in it for now. And if I feel it needs something else later on down the road, then I'll change it out. Now I'm going to activate this. It's a 12-volt relay, so I'm going to... Uh, Hang a connector out the end of it to uh to power the uh to power the relay. So I bought a uh, weather type box because this is actually going to get mounted on the tower outside. So uh, it's got this little gasket that comes with it. Uh, you take the uh, sticker off and it sticks right to the uh, to this. So if you ever have to service it or anything, and then I've got these L brackets. Uh, they're actually they used to call these party wall clips. And uh, one of these I'm going to drill out to hold the relay, and the other two will be on the box itself. So, uh, we'll be back with an update. Okay, guys, back on my little project uh, antenna switcher. Uh, got everything uh, cut out, laid out, deburred, uh, ready to go. So, as you see, this is how everything's going to uh, mount together. Not too bad. Should turn out pretty good. We'll be back with an update. Alright guys, back on our uh, little antenna switcher box, and um, it is completed, and I'll give you a little rundown. This is antenna 1, which is uh, going to be the main antenna that I would use all the time, and then most likely that'll be for my beam. Okay, and that's where the input would go into, and then I utilized a BNC connector for uh, my 12 volt, which uh, should handle everything I want to put in it. Um, doesn't take much to flip this relay, it's, you know milliamps so but uh, here's an inside gander of what we got going on all 12 gauge Teflon wire and uh, I ferry beaded the uh, hot lead so uh, should be good and then what I've got here is a little BNC connector I stripped back with some coax on it. it's not what I'm going to use but it's enough for this demo and then just to give you a little load down we've got this in ohms and uh, we'll stick one probe in there and one probe in there and as you see it's already ready to go so then we'll take the other probe and stick it over there as you see nothing until we put some power to the relay and we'll just take this run that there and there you go off on off on so I'll have to run uh, I bought some zip cord to uh, run up the tower, some 14 gauge to carry the load because it's about 200 foot, and that should be perfect. But uh, there you go, little antenna relay project. I've been meaning to do this now for a long time, probably over a year, because I am going to get my new coax and uh, everything on my tower. I figured uh, it was time to do something for Stickman, and we got it done. I got a little U-bolt. I didn't show it in the video, but uh, I have a little U-bolt that's going to go in here and hold on to the tower. And we already got the uh, weather strip piece on the uh, on the lid. So basically, uh, this would sit on here like so and screw it right on down. And then this will hang like that. So all the coaxes are at the bottom so we don't have to worry about water or nothing or weather. But I hope you all enjoy it, man. If there's something that you need to have uh, done, give me a shout. I'll help you out. I'll stick me in at the new name MCB shop, and we're gone.